The Ford A Speedster was one of the earliest models in automobile racing. In the 1920s, daredevil men would race around dusty tracks and vehicles like this one. This 1929 model boasts 40 horsepower and can reach speeds of up to 100 kilometers an hour. At a time when most people were still traveling by horse and carriage, it was revolutionary. But for Klaus Müller, speed is not the primary interest. It's the whole driving experience. He's been a lifelong vintage car enthusiast and has a particular passion for Ford cars from before the Second World War. I spent a long time, he says, trying to trace the old racing cars that were based on the Ford A model, but not produced in Ford factories. I discovered a factory in South America that specialized in these cars, so I went over there and saw that their cars were good and authentic, and the decision was made. Klaus Müller ordered a speedster body from Argentina. His goal was to build an authentic Ford A Speedster. Parts like the dashboard instruments and steering wheel, he was able to buy at vintage car markets. It took hundreds of hours of work, but eventually he was able to fulfill his dream. Everything has been put together by hand, he says. The bodywork was made without any modern equipment. It was all shaped by hand. And if you look closely, you can see lots of irregularities. Everything has been done as it would have been done back then. It's been riveted rather than screwed together. But there are no hollow rivets. The engine came from an old Ford A from 1929. Klaus Müller gave it a complete overhaul before fitting it into his car. Finding spare parts is no problem, he says. You can basically get everything. There are a few parts that are no longer produced, but you don't need them anyway. All the parts that wear out, you can buy. And if everything's adjusted correctly, you can do the maintenance yourself. Change the oil, check the spark plugs, minor things like that. Klaus doesn't believe in just admiring his cars in the garage. He drives his speedster frequently. The speedster is surprisingly normal to drive. It's not so different from modern cars. The clutch is the same. There's a three-speed transmission. The main difference is that you're exposed to the elements, and because of the noise, it's not so easy to chat with your passenger. The Ford A Speedster, a pre-war classic with the feel of a racing car. And as they're easy to build and maintain, there are still quite a number of Model A's around today. <laughs>